Hey everyone, I'm Allison and I'm an antique booth beginner. Let's check out my three shelves. This is my first venture into an antique booth. And the great thing about this shop, they rent by the shelf. So I don't have to commit to a huge space. A few weeks ago, I visited a store called Found in Seaford, New York. It is a vendor driven vintage and antique store. That's a euphemism for antique mall. I actually didn't realize it until I was there and then I asked the owner about it because there's such a cohesiveness to the store. It looks like a boutique. It does not look like a lot of antique malls with very different looking item displays. The reason being is that the owners of this shop actually buy all the shelving and you rent by the shelf. After I was filming, I was kind of like, why am I not doing this? I decided to try the antique mall route. So it turns out that they charge by the shelf and it's $25 per shelf. I know that sounds like a lot because when I was putting my display together on my three shelves, I met a woman who was visiting and she has a booth, a six by eight booth. So 48 square feet in Pennsylvania and she rents for $70 a month. Obviously you're looking at two different places. I'm in the New York tri-state area as opposed to being in Pennsylvania in a less populated rural area. Obviously the prices are gonna be very different and the rent for the building is going to be very different. I'm still excited about it. So I'm paying $75 a month I have decided to commit to like six months. I wanna see how this goes. And what I did was I went through my eBay listings that have been stagnant. I pulled things down that are not moving. I think a lot of it has to do with maybe the weight. Some of these items are very heavy. I think a lot of buyers are going to be turned off by the shipping costs. I pulled down these golf beer mugs with a sandpiper bird that's etched on it and then a golf ball that's etched in the bottom. They're really pretty, they're great glasses. I thought they were gonna sell very quickly on eBay, but I think it's been two years I've had those. And they probably weigh at least a pound each. I decided to bring them to the shop. Those are on one of my three shelves. I like saying my three shelves, I don't know why. I went through the my eBay listings and I did find a, uh, several things that I just thought, bring all the breakables over there that uh, I don't have to ship. I took down a bunch of items and brought them over and just worked on the display. When I first, got there and I started unpacking, I realized very quickly I needed to have some display stands because I had some plates that were beautiful, but they were laying flat. And so I quickly ordered some from Amazon. I bought a pack of these. They come in three different sizes. So for plates, so the large, the medium, and then the small ones. That helped a lot. As you can see, there was a huge difference in what the display looked like when I first put it together and then when I added the plate stands. You can now walk into this room and see these beautiful mid-century green chip and dip plate in all its glory and then the orange Las Vegas ashtray along with these Spanish plates. I think that really helped to make it look more inviting. But then there was this one item. Every time I kept coming back to the store to try and zhuzh it up a little bit. I had a rolling pin. It's a German Springle rolling pin with a pattern on it. It's vintage, but it was just kind of rolling on the shelf or I had to put it behind things so it wouldn't roll off. And I went online and I was able to buy adjustable clamps. They don't drill into the shelves. There's no marks because these are not my shelves. I wanted to have something that I could remove, but I could hang that one item on and then use it for other items. And I think it looks even better now. So this is my first venture into an antique mall. And I'm excited about it. First of all, it's only a mile from 
where I live, which is great. I could go check it out whenever I want to. What the owners of this store have done is a really interesting model in having an antique mall. I always thought antique malls took also a percentage of your sales. This is just a flat rental. Then they pay you at the beginning of each month for your sales from the previous month. As of right now, I think I've been in there for almost two weeks. I haven't sold anything yet, but it's also been over the 4th of July holiday, and I don't know how well sales have been doing in that time frame. but I'm willing to stick it out. I feel like it's a good way to move some items that have definitely been sitting in my eBay listings for way too long. And I also want to diversify where I'm listing my items. I know a lot of people use Vendu and other cross-listing services, but to be honest with you, I don't have enough bandwidth in my brain to add yet another platform <laughs> that I want to learn. I also have some really big ideas for my three shelves at the holidays. Um, I have a lot of glassware that has 22 karat gold details on them and I have a lot of Christmas stuff. So from what I understand, a lot of the vendors are going all out for Christmas. So I'm excited about that and I'm hoping that in the time frame between now and the holidays, some of my stuff will have moved out and I can start moving more, more pieces in. I think right now I have about $575 worth of items on the shelves. All I need to do right now is sell the duck. The duck is a hand carved, hand mallard, signed by an artist named Val Waugh. I have it listed for $80. If I just sell that, then all the rest of it is gravy, right? Wish me luck. Again, I'm gonna try this for six months and see how it goes. I do like the store a lot and you should go check it out. You can watch Thrift With Me and Seaford next to see the entire store. Check it out.